When using outwintering crops, it is important that a feed budget is completed to ensure that the nutrient requirements of the animal are met over the coming winter. A key component to this is understanding the dry matter content of the crop. For deferred grazing, this can easily be done using the rising plate meter. More information on this can be found on the AHDB Dairy Rising Plate Meter Fact Sheet, which can be downloaded from the website. For forage crops, such as kale and rape, a one metre sample size is a convenient way of assessing yield. This can be easily done using a bucket, sample bag, shears, tape measure, spring balance and sample poles. As a general rule of thumb, one sample per hectare is sufficient for rape and kale. Start by selecting a representative area of the field. Mark out a one metre square in the crop using the measuring tape and pegs. Weigh the empty sample bag or bucket. Using a knife or shears, cut the forage in the area to be sampled. For kale, the cutting height should be 10 centimetres, but for rape, this can be reduced to six centimetres in younger crops. Carefully gather up the forage, placing it into the sample bag or bucket and weigh. The forage dry matter yield per hectare is the difference between these two weights multiplied by the typical dry matter content of the crop, divided by 100, then multiplied by 10,000. Typical dry matter figures for outwintering crops can be found on the AHDB Dairy website and in many industry reference materials. For calculating the yield of fodder beet, a slightly different approach is often needed as the crop is not as uniform as rape or kale. Similar equipment will be needed in the form of a measuring tape, spring balance and sampling bag or bucket. Having recorded the weight of the sample bag, remove all the beets within a one metre length of the row, shaking off any excess soil from the roots. Place the beet in the bag and weigh. Count the number and length of crop rows in a defined area. This can be one hectare or the whole field. To calculate yield, subtract the bag weight from the sample weight. Multiply by the length of the row, then multiply by the number of rows, and finally multiply by the crop dry matter. Divide this by 100 and this will give you the beet dry matter yield within the defined area. For more information on both the nutritional requirements of the animal and allocating out winter forages, please visit the AHDB Dairy website.